viajando pelo mundo, conhecendo culturas, pessoas e histórias diferentes. Mas afinal, apesar de tão distantes, será que existe algo que nos aproxima? Estamos na Oceania. Encontramos o nome de Julie em um evento sobre a importância do acesso à saúde para todos. No seu site, contava sua história de ativismo como jornalista. Enviamos um e-mail sem nem saber se teria a resposta. Ela respondeu de forma surpreendente, dizendo que não acreditava que duas jovens iriam atravessar o mundo saindo do Brasil e viajar até seu país só para fazer entrevistas. Eu não hesitei por um momento. To, to talk to you and the women and men who watch this, who have an interest in women's experience of cancer, because by trying to raise awareness about the, the deep impact of cancer on people's lives, I enhance my own life. I find meaning in my own suffering. By helping others, you help yourself. It, it's not a cliche, it's true. If you have the privilege of a good education, you have a responsibility to make the world a better place. So I think partly my activism actually comes from that Christian education that you have a duty to show love to the world. My dream was that I would be an activist for my whole life and everybody laughed and said, no, 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 you'll grow out of it. Well, I haven't grown out of it. Most of my work has been uh, stories of overcoming difficulties. So. People who don't have a voice rely heavily on the media, whether it be social media or mainstream media, to help get their voices heard. But, but one of the things about cancer is time is distorted. The days were very, very, very long. And one of the things cancer treatment gave me was the capacity to just sit and stare because I'm normally a very energetic, active person. You need to fill in the time. You don't work. You're too weak to see people. I'd lost a lot of concentration. So chemotherapy and radiation therapy make you very, very tired and a little bit, you know, you can't think as clearly as normal. So even television and radio and newspapers I couldn't do that when I was recovering. And I realized that walking was the single most important way in which I meditated and relaxed. Not a race, not fast, just walking in this beautiful country of Australia. And if I go near the harbor, I can feel the life. I can feel it in the birds and in the trees. Uh, you can reconnect with the life force. When I got cancer, I was told I had cancer, Melissa immediately rang her boss and said, I can't come to work until Julie is well. And she just risked everything to look after me. And it's a wonderful experience to be loved like that. Melissa represents to me what I always dreamt of, that I could build a partnership. It's now a marriage, because we've been able to get married, where we could give each other unconditional love and raise children and build a family just like everybody else. So while I'm on this earth, I must spend time with uh, Melissa and the children and not get swept up with work and my passions because <laughs> I have many passions. And by passions, I mean social activism, but I want to remember time is short and I should focus on relationships. Que conexões eu tenho feito? A gente não precisa passar pelo enfrentamento do câncer e nem esperar por momentos difíceis para ter essas reflexões. Júlia ensinou que, apesar de estar do outro lado do mundo, há sentimentos que nos unem, que são importantes, únicos e também universais. Do I believe in love? Oh, absolutely. I mean, 
how we treat each other, how we approach the world environmentally, how we uh, make sure everybody has somewhere to live, something to eat, and their kids can go to school. That's love in action. So I believe in love socially as a community and as a foundation for a shared life. It, it is the meaning of life. It, it's as deep as that. We always give out awards at the beginning of every year for their uh, community service. And uh, I got an award in 2019 for my service to the media and, and for gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, intersex people. So to have services to the gay and lesbian and transgender community recognised is, is a tribute not just for me, but for all the activists. And that's social change and social progress that will make it easier for the next young person to say to their mum and dad, mum, dad, I think I'm gay. It's a great feeling to have your efforts recognised. You know, I, I think you get a little badge, I'll wear it with pride. <laughs>